Hey y'all, this is Anthony from Rocket Prince, and thanks for watching this video. In this tutorial, we're gonna use some tablecloths that I purchased from Walmart. I actually bought an embroidery design from graphicdesigns.com. We're gonna take this design, place them on these, uh, these kitchen towels, see how they come out. And if they do come out, I'm gonna use this as one of my SKUs to go ahead and start marketing on my website at rockandprince.com. So hope y'all like this video. And if you do, please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. I greatly appreciate it. It's gonna help me grow my channel. Thanks again for watching and let's go and get this started. go ahead and launch Chroma Plus and this is the software that came with the machine so I'm just gonna file I'm gonna start a new template here I'm gonna go to my folder and I'm gonna look for the design that I want to place on these mainstays kitchen towels so the design that I picked is how we roll and it's in a DST format. And you can see right here a little bit the way, what it, the way it looks. And all we're going to do is just go ahead and open it. And that is the design. Okay. So as you can see, the design is in, um, it's in red, blue, and green. And the original design, the way I purchased it was not this color, but for some reason, this is the way it comes out, but we're going to go out and look up the actual, the actual design that I actually purchased. So they give you a PDF format and this is the way the colors should be. So the colors are diamond black, egg yolk, and carrot gold. Carrot. Okay. So let's look for those colors in, um, in, uh, chroma plus. And we're going to know how to set this up. So let's go back to Chroma Plus. And you can see that number one is blue. So number one is going to be black for us. Okay. So do they have diamond black? Diamond black. There it is. So we're going to click on diamond black. And then we're going to look for egg yolk. So that's going to be number the red one. So this is going to be egg yolk okay so let's go to our colors again we're going to double click here and we're going to look for egg yolk gold brass i wonder if i can just search for it so we'll do egg there it is egg yolk 40. we're going to click on that and there we go egg yolk 40 and then the last one Roll, we're going to look for carrot. So let's just type in carrot. All right, carrot 1178. Boom. Okay, so our design is ready to go. We're ready to print it. All we got to do now is just save it to a USB. And let's go ahead and get that set up here. So I got my new device in the system in my hub. Uh, my USB hub and let's go ahead and save this so we're gonna do hit we're gonna hit file and save as and what we want to do is save it for our machine so we want to make sure that it's saved to the Rokoma DST file okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rename it because now that I got the original color set up I'm just gonna put I'm going to put how we roll. Okay. How we roll. So I know how to, how this is going to read once I get it set up. But I also want to make sure that it's being set up on my USB port. So here it is. My US, here's my USB. How we roll. Let's hit save. And we are ready to go, guys. All right, guys, so I got the kitchen towels, and we're going to have to cut this little piece off here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's find that little area. Go 
cool. All right. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and slip out these towels. Try not to break that one little piece. Oh, we got another one here. I didn't see that. Okay. All right. Take that one out. And we should be good. Let's see if we can slip this out without tearing that piece. Because I want to be able to see if I can resell this in the same package on eBay. Cool. All right. So the white towels, I'm going to do the original color. And the black towels, I'm going to have to change the black color to white. So the white stands out on the black. Okay. So with that, let's get this set up on the hoop ring. Okay, for this this um, design, we can't use the Mighty Hoop because I only have a 5x5. Five five. I haven't purchased the other sets. So, I'm thinking more or less that we're going to put the image right here. And then we're going to go ahead and do that. So, I'm going to use this hoop. This is actually a 7x7. Seven you can see it right there. Seven by four, eight by four, seven by four, eight. So we're gonna use this one and we're gonna take, we're gonna go from there. All right. So let's figure out how we're gonna do this. So I think I'm gonna go like this, just like that and put it right in the center. Okay, so I printed out my run sheet and we are gonna work on this. So the first color is gonna be black. So the way this works is you count them diagonally. So this starts as one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so, okay, so my first color is gonna be five, which is black. My second color is gonna be, um, it says egg, egg yolk, but I'm gonna go ahead and use um, this gold in the back right there. So this is gonna be four, eight nine ten eleven so i'm looking for number eleven and the last one is going to be like a carrot orange so we're going to go ahead and use number four okay so we're going to input five eleven and four okay so we're going to go to the spools right here and we're going to click on number five eleven and four all right, and that's the way we want the design to be because it says it's going to start off as number one is black, number two is going to be orange, and number three is going to be, um, number two is going to be like a gold, and number three is going to be the orange. Okay, so let's go ahead and start from there. Click that. We're going to lock, it's already locked in place. All right. Okay, so we're gonna put this right. And this is kind of this is kind of tricky for me, so I'm gonna try this. All right. Let's take this to the, the machine.
Ah, it's really starting to come out nice. I'm a little worried about that we that E on the very end is kind of scaring me. I hope it's not going to bang against the hoop.
and it's done. So let's go and pull this out. And this is a tear away back. So we can just pull this off here. Okay. Now let's see the final product. That looks good, guys. Just some little tweaking here. I gotta pull out. There was a piece of um thread that got caught up in here while it was sewing. I gotta be careful with that kind of stuff. Okay. All right, now let's do the black one. Okay, same thing. Make sure this is straight. Okay. All right. Okay, let's take it to the machine. This time we're gonna change the rolling pin. We're gonna change the color of the black. Okay, let's take this off and see how this looks. Okay. Peel the backing off. Okay. That one came out nice. That one came out really good, guys. If you like this video, please um, remember to like and subscribe, leave a comment, and um, we'll see you guys back soon next week. And y'all have a blessed weekend, have a blessed day, and we'll see you guys back. Peace.